Our second speaker today is Sharon Friedman. And Sharon has not spoken in front of the club for quite a while. While on a self-imposed hibernation from life, she never stopped her gratitude practice. Today, in a four to six minute speech titled, Having a Gratitude Practice. Can I change it? Five yeah. to seven, I apologize. Yeah, all right, five to seven. <laughs> Five to seven minutes speech titled, Having a Gratitude Practice, What's in it for you? She hopes to persuade each of us that if we don't have gratitude practice, it's time to stop. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Um, how many of you right now have a daily gratitude practice? Wow. <laughs> I was expecting more. Well, I hope over the next five to seven minutes at the end of my speech, I'll have persuaded you to think about it or even maybe t uh, tomorrow morning or even tonight start one. So five reasons why it might be good for you to start one, and they are, at this moment, all of a sudden, my brain went dead, better relationships, better physical health, better mental health, better emotional health, and better sleep. So we'll start with better relationships. So do you remember the last time a friend, family member, coworker asked you for help, and you helped them? And at the end of that, they really thanked you. I mean, like, you felt like you were appreciated. So the next time they ask you or you, you're thinking, well, I will do it. You know, I don't even think about it because I felt so good about how they made me feel. And you, even because maybe a labor of love. So people who are, have gratitude or are grateful have better relationships, a better health. It's in a 2002 study, it was cited that people who have a gratitude practice uh, complain less about aches and pains, actually feel better, and have better physical health. Three, mental health. So in a 12, 2012 study, it was cited that people who have a gratitude practice tend to be less angry, less resentful, and so they tend to want to get less uh, revenge upon people, which makes a happier person. So people who are gr uh, grateful for what they have, if they, someone gets something that they don't have, they're not resentful. They go, oh. You know, I'm happy with what I've got, that I'm glad they got it. In fact, they're actually usually happy for that person. And people who are happy don't tend to get angry as much. Have you ever met a grateful, angry person? <laughs> it's kind of unheard of, it's kind of oxymoron. And so they don't tend to want to get revenge, and, and so they're just you know mentally happy. They're just happy all the time, or happier. Sorry, I've got weepy eyes. And that kind of leads into emotional uh, wellness, because they're kind of almost the same, but if you are happy with what you have and you don't get angry and you're not resentful, you tend to uh, not get, well the anger brings on the fight and flight uh, stress uh, cycle which causes all kinds of um, toxic chemicals that happen to your body which will then make you not healthy and also it, uh, it emotionally uh, makes you unhappy which, sorry, I'm so if you are less stressed, you don't get depressed or get anxious, and so that happiness helps your mental emotional uh, balance. And then finally, if you are, if you have good relationships, if you have good mental health, if you have good physical health and good emotional health, when you go to bed at night, you have less on your mind, your body is more relaxed, and so you're going to hopefully fall asleep faster, sleep deeper, sleep longer, and when you wake up in the morning, you're going to feel better and start the whole day over again feeling good. So with those five reasons, how, how would you start a, uh, a daily practice? Well, you can Google many uh, ways, but I'm going to give you three ways that are, that are easy to do. One is the journey journaling. And it can be as simple as a piece of paper and a pen by your bed, or uh, you can go buy a beautiful book with a nice pen so that you, know, you feel really good about writing it. Or you can even put it in your computer before you go to bed at night. So before you go to bed at night, you think of three things. One, one way is to think of three things that happened good to you that day. And you know, if nothing happened good that day, which can happen, you think of three things that you're grateful for. And it could be as easy as I have a job, I have a house, I have a car to get to my job to pay for my house. Ta-da! And, and I'm not even talking about food on your plate and you know things just, or even people in your life. So that's journaling. And then if you're like me, you hate to journal. I mean, I just hate to journal. Uh, there are two other ways. One is a very simple way is before you go to bed at night or when you wake up in the morning or set your alarm sometime during the day and you stop for five minutes to set your alarm 
you close your eyes, you just come into yourself, you take like three or four nice long inhales and exhales, and you just focus on one thing that you're grateful for, for five minutes. And when the alarm goes off, you just go about your day. And then the third way is my way, and it's really kind of long and involved. I wake up every morning, and I start with thanking God that I woke up. And then I go on to uh, thanking for my body, my health, the different people in my life, through family, friends, mentors and teachers, just anybody that I have met. And I'm really grateful for the people who come into my life for one moment or a lifetime and all the lessons that they teach me. I'm just grateful for everything. And then I go into the physical stuff, you know, the food, the clothing, the house, the car that gets me places. At the very end, I end it by that really meaning this, that I am so blessed and that I acknowledge that and I always want to be able to acknowledge how blessed I am, that I hope I'm worthy for it by my, my thoughts, my actions, my deeds every day. And so, and then I, and I finish the, I, fin I just sit there for a minute and then finish it. So with the reason of better health, better mental uh, and physical and emotional, and then better relationships. Who wouldn't want better relationships? But even if you don't care about better relationships, better sleep. Why not start one? Mm -hmm.